Well, welcome back to Contrast Lee. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to be in Lightroom and showing you how to split tone your images. So we're in Lightroom and we're going to show you how to do some split toning on some images. Now we did a similar video probably a year ago, maybe a bit longer, where I showed you how to split tone images in um, in Photoshop using the curves. And we're going to do that similar thing here within Lightroom using the tone curve dialog over here. Um, there's also uh, the split toning uh, section here which we can also use and we'll, we'll touch on that as well. But we're going to use the tone curve. Now under the tone curve uh, graph here you'll see uh, a thing called channel and it will give you an option of red, green and blue like you can in uh, curves in Photoshop. If for any reason you don't see that you may be using an old image. If that's the case come up to uh, settings and then process and make sure you have running 2012 process um, the, from there. If you're on one of the old, older process versions this dialog box won't show up and you'll be wondering where it is so make sure you're updated to process version 2012 and you can do that if it's not in that uh, version you can just click on this here update to current process 2012 and that will change the settings and you'll see this dialog box once we've done that we can click on these channel drop down menu and go into the individual channels uh, like we do with curves in Photoshop so for instance I can click on the red and let's say we wanted to add a bit more kind of a sun a bit of a sunrise to this picture I think it was shot at dawn and it's quite cool uh, but maybe we want to add a bit more warmth to the sky we can perhaps drag this across the highlight end of the curve across and start to add a bit more red into the sky there uh, and maybe pull this back a little bit there so it's mainly affecting at this point mainly affecting the highlights there uh, maybe we want to add a little bit of yellow as well so we can go to the blue channel and look at bringing in a bit of yellow it is a bit fiddly so we we'll drag this down and again we're affecting mainly the highlights here so now we've added a bit of yellow and a bit of red there maybe pull this up a little bit so it's not affecting the shadow end too much um, in fact while we're in the blue I may want to accentuate some of the blue the coolness in the image there like so uh, maybe go into the green channel like so somewhere like that and then at the other end of the highlights we can actually add a bit of magenta in there like so not too much in fact I'll think I'll get rid of that there yeah, I quite like that. So it's just a matter of going in and play, playing around. So it's very similar to using curves. So it just gives you that bit of flexibility. You could also use, if you wanted to, you can also use. Go back into the red. Actually, we'll go into the magentas, uh, magentas again. You could also use this little scrubby slider, and again, that will help. A bit more, maybe a bit more control over these areas in here by just pushing the mouse up and down on the areas you want I think that's a bit too magenta again come into the other channel maybe the reds push that down a bit perhaps but it gives you a bit more control than trying to click on these which can be a little bit fiddly let's just bring that up a bit yeah, that's better. So that's a better way of doing it. Uh, go back in the blue channel. I'll do the same here. A bit more yellow. I think we can go back to the red again. Add a bit more red, like so. So it's just a matter of getting in there. You get the idea. But we guess it's a control over the highlights, midtones, and shadows. It's not as easy to control as uh, doing the same thing in curves in Photoshop, but it's still doable. So what's the other option? The other option is uh, to go to the split toning section here uh, and have a play around using that, which might be a bit easier. So let's have a quick look at that. 
Okay, so if that's a bit too fiddly for you, I can understand. Um, so an easier way, um, maybe not quite as versatile, possibly, um, is to use a split toning uh, section here. And what I, how I normally work, work this is I'll bring the saturation up on the either the shadows or the highlights to start with let's just start with the highlights and you click on the little color box here the color picker and you can actually pick out the kind of colors you want for the highlights so i want something that's going to be warm i think around there now you can't obviously mix colors quite as well with this because you haven't got the control over the the um the the rgb channels you're really just picking one color that's so going to kind of wash over it which is uh Probably on some images it'll work okay. On others it might be a look a bit too um, too over the top, should we say, and not a, a no, enough subtlety in the transition of the colours. Um, but you know it's always worth a try. So I'm going to pick out a, a warm colour here. You can also adjust saturation using this slider. So I'm going to go quite fairly strong. You can also, if you click want to click on, if there's a colour in the image you want to pick out, if you hold down the uh, Alt or Shift key, you can actually bring the drop out onto your image, which can sometimes be helpful if you want to pick out, say, the colour of these trees or something, because you like the warmth of that, you can do that. Otherwise, you're just going to be clicking and dragging like I'm doing here. So let's pick out that for our highlight, and you can alter the saturation of that here if you want to. You can then come onto the um, the shadows again. I'm going to bring the saturation up to begin with, so we can see what we're doing. And for here, I might want to sort of keep it things fairly cool. That's probably a bit too green. Maybe come a bit more blue somewhere around there, for instance. And then again, we can uh, alter the saturation of that to our taste. We can also alter the hue on these colours by clicking on this image, uh, this slider, sorry, here. Uh, somewhere around there is quite nice. The other control you've got is uh, the balance here, and this is this kind of will split how much um, the highlights or the shadows are dominating the image. I think that's probably the best way of describing it. So if I want a bit more warmth in this, which I probably do, I could uh, favour the highlights more. Uh, actually, I quite like that. Um, and then maybe come back in here and maybe add a bit more blue saturation there so you know it's again it's, it's a it's a balancing act by just me messing around with these sliders and getting the balance right and every image is obviously going to be a little bit different um, somewhere around there doesn't look too bad like so and then once you've done that obviously you can if, if anything starts clipping or getting a bit bright we can look at uh, dropping down so sort the of highlights there a little bit and bring some more that like, definition back into the the sky there. And when you do that, again the dynamics change. So you might have to then find you want to come back into the the settings here and maybe just alter the the colouring, give it a bit too much, like so. So that's two ways of quickly split turning your images in Lightroom. The other option you can look at, let me just turn this split turning off a minute. Um, the other option you can look at is maybe the uh, hue, saturation and luminance sliders in here. Uh, you can alter, it's not really a split toning, but it just gives you a bit more control over some of the colours in the image. Uh, and like all things, you've got to be a bit careful that you don't start sort of pushing things too far, otherwise you can run into trouble. But these are worth having a lot of play around with. Again, you've got these little scrubby sliders on here that you can use to adjust uh, over the top of the image. We may perhaps in another video, it, this is not really uh, a part of split toning as such, but it's more about control of colour. Perhaps in another video, it might be worth us going into this and that maybe seeing instances, instances, is that the right word? Instances where these hue, saturation, and luminous controls can be really helpful uh, in your uh, in your image and getting the kind of look you want. So that's it for now. That's a very sort of quick overview of using the uh, the curves here. Uh, in Lightroom and also using perhaps the more uh, easier route of split toning and the differences that you can achieve. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you on the next video.